In this video, I'm going to talk about the five element personality types and something that I will call elemental envy. Sit tight. Welcome back to another video. My name is Jen Palco. Welcome to another five element video. And this one I wanted to do because um, I think that it's something that nobody's really talked about before. And what I'm gonna talk about today is something that I'm gonna call elemental envy. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, when I'm talking about elements, I suggest you check out some of my other videos. I've done a bunch on five elements um, from the Taoist Chinese medicine perspective, Eastern perspective on personality types, which element you may be. Um, I'll just give you a brief overview. There's five elements, um, water, wood, fire, earth, and metal, uh, five elements out in nature. This is according to ancient Taoism uh, philosophies. But we also have the five elements within us. They're connected to all of our um, internal organs, emotions, sounds, flavors, all kinds of stuff. But, you know, I'm gonna relate this to our innate personality types, okay? Even though we have all five within us, we usually have one or two that are more dominant. I'll say this in every single one of my five element videos. Uh, we have one or two that are more on the stronger side, and then we may have some that are more on the deficient side. And you know, part of why I do these videos is to help people figure themselves out, to not go throughout life trying to be somebody they're not, which is kind of going to be somewhat of the basis of this video. I want people to live authentically as themselves. And part of that, um, the elements can be really helpful in, uh, in finding that out, what your innate strengths and talents are. So I'll put links to all those videos below um, if you have no idea and you wanna get a good baseline before we go more in depth into, into this one. So when I'm talking about elemental envy, it's pretending to be somebody that you're not, walking through life in not your own shoes per se. Now related to the elements, it's a, there's a gray area that I'm going to explain here, but it's basically say you are a strong constitutional water person and you're living your life wanting to be wood or wanting to be fire, because I'll, I'll just give you the baseline that these two here, um, they're more aggressive, they're more young in energy, so they're gonna be essentially more in line to our go, 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 do, do, do culture. And I see this a lot where people are in careers or people are trying to um, keep the pace to something that they can't keep the pace to because they get burnt out and they wonder, why am I burnt out? Okay, so there's a gray area between nourishing all of your elements in a healthy way to try and have them as balanced as they can be versus the unhealthy pattern of thinking of not accepting yourself for who you are, not even recognizing what your innate talents and strengths are. So I'll give you a little example, personal experience, okay? I tend to be, not in my videos so much, but more on the fire deficient side, okay? These guys aren't very strong for me, the more young, I'm more, um, like introverted, more into my earth, metal, water, okay, especially. And I do these videos to help support my fire, okay? Maybe help support the wood a little bit. And they're helpful, it's a healthy way of doing it. I'll give you another example. Um, <clears throat> so that's the healthy aspect. Unhealthy aspect, and I'm guilty of this too, which is why I'm doing this video, because I've had elemental envy, okay? But why can't I, be more fiery in life? Why can't I be more like a go-getter, a leader? Because that's not me. So when I was growing up, I was shy. I was a quiet kid and I'd always take to heart when people are like, why? Why are you so quiet? And that stuck with me throughout life. And I thought of it as a flaw. I'm like, oh, I wish I could be more fiery, more sociable, more extroverted. I feel like a lot of introverts um, feel like this, okay? And while I'm not as introverted as I used to be, um, I still have my moments, okay? Where that pattern gets in my head, like, Jen, why are you so quiet? You should just like do more, you know? Do more, go socialize more, blah, blah, blah. 
whatever. Um, but I used to think of it as a flaw. But now I've had a lot of people um, practicing acupuncture and stuff who have told me, multiple people have told me the same thing that, um, that I just have like a calm demeanor about me or presence or something. I don't see it or I didn't see it until I've had multiple people tell me. Um, and I was like, oh, so that's actually a strength and not a flaw. So you have to look at not what society views as a strength, as a strength, but your innate talents and abilities, how you can show up in the world. So some other examples, you know, of a healthy way versus unhealthy way is, you know, say you are, let me see here, you're a wood person, you're constantly doing, 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 and you want to balance, you want to be more earthy. Maybe you implement some time into your schedule, because wood is all about schedules and time, um, to sit out in nature for a few minutes. You're not gonna be able to sit a long time because you're woody. So don't try to be somebody you're not, but it's recognizing who you are being like, I'm wood, I have strengths, leadership abilities. Um, I'm all about like, I'm good with debating and, and provoking arguments sometimes, um, but I'm good at being a leader. Okay, I'm a warrior, but I find that I get too in this zone and I want to balance myself out. So I'm going to try to read a good book. Okay, I'm going to go more into my water and just like be still sometimes. Okay, it may take practice, but that's a healthy way to nourish some of the elements you may be more deficient in, right? Um, or if you're fire deficient, like I said, you may push yourself a little bit to be a little more social, to plan things out with friends. You don't have to be the life of the party, but just doing little things can help. Or if you're water, which is all about like, not about time, they're on their own schedule, whatever, man. Um, maybe you sit down and you create some sort of schedule for yourself to help your wood because you're deficient in your wood and you want to accomplish some things in your life. These are the healthy ways to support your elements that maybe are not as strong for you. But the unhealthy aspect I want to go into um, is the, the inability to accept ourselves for who we are, the inability to realize um, our strengths as strengths. That we don't recognize them because we're trying to fit into the mold of other people or um, trying to go, 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 when you know realize if you're a water and earth person, and you're trying to fit into the shoes of a wood, being a wood person, say in a job, for example, you're gonna wonder why you're burnt out over time because you don't work that way. You can't skip meals. You need rest and recharge. So that's how you work and that's perfectly fine. You can work, but then you need a break here and there. You can work, but then you need a break. Same with like metal. And I don't mean to go all into like just career stuff here, but I feel like it's a good example. If you're metal, you may like to work alone. Um, you don't like a lot of like team building stuff and meetings and all kinds of things. Um, you may wonder, oh, why can't I just like do this? We beat ourselves up um, because we don't recognize ourselves for who we are. So at the end of the day, it's really about reframing how you see yourself. So reframing instead of saying, oh, why can't I be more aggressive? Or why can't I be more sociable and extroverted and outgoing? And reframing it to, wow, one of my strengths is having patience, okay? Maybe earth. One of my strengths is silence, peace and quiet, like being able to just sit with myself, being able to be with another person and not always have to talk and fill the silence because we're scared of silence sometimes, right? That's a gift that the world needs. So the world can't just have all fires, all earth, all metal, all water, all wood. It needs a nice balance of all these kind of people, okay? And you have them all within you, but you'll see different relationships, how it plays out in the world, how you need people in leadership positions, how you need more earthy caretaker people. That's a gift. People to take care of others like that or to be able to um, comfort others, you know, like therapists or something like that. Um, metal, detail-oriented. They make things better, make things look better, nicer, okay? Polish things. Water, like I said, being able to be still. The creative mind, 
Okay, don't look at it as like, oh, I'm always in my head. Why can't I talk to people? Maybe your strength is that you have that ability to go deep in creative thinking skills that other people might not have, essentially, okay? Maybe you can get it on paper, you can write it down, you can become an author. Like, there's so many things about you that you may not recognize. And part of that is going back to maybe when you were a kid, what you like to do, um, because the world will shape us as we go through it and we fall into um, different positions and situations and relationships that can mold us a certain way. But, you know, this is all a circle. It's, it's called the reversal, essentially, in, in Taoism where you know this is, is pre-birth and birth and then we go around the cycle back into ourselves it's really profound if you think about it you know a fire person we need those fun like people comedians for example in the world right so there's so many different innate gifts and talents um, that we have that often we don't recognize as gifts or talents, you know, because we're trying to fit a mold that isn't our mold. You know what I mean? So um, I just want you to think for a second. Like I said, maybe check out some of the other videos about the specific element types, kind of recognizing which traits you see in yourself. And I hope one day a little light bulb goes off in your head and says, wow, Maybe I'm not where I should be or supposed to be or, um, you know, everything's in, in kind of divine timing in life. So even though you're, you're somewhere that you find isn't fitting or aligning to you, it doesn't mean that it's not like a little detour into something else opening up for you. That's all I'm saying. So don't look at that as a flaw, like, oh, my life is ruined because I went down this path instead of this one, which is more aligned to my true nature. No, your life will redirect itself once you start recognizing yourself as you. Once you start bringing out more of your gifts in any capacity, any way, once you start reframing and looking at pieces of yourself um, as strengths and not flaws and not weaknesses and get away from the pattern of thinking of always wanting to be somebody or not, always wanting to be somebody else, always wanting to, you know, measure up to other people. Once you get into that comparison game, that's going to be troublesome for any kind of self-cultivation. Okay, so it's getting back to yourself. It's recognizing what your strengths are, recognizing that they are in fact strengths and implementing them or um, showing up in the world as you. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Check out some of my other videos. I've done a ton on five elements, yin yang stuff, self-cultivation type of things. Um, I will put links below. Like I said, subscribe. I try to put out new videos every single week for you on all kinds of cool stuff. Other than that, I will see you on the next video. Peace.